Okay, so now we've finished routing our cables, we can go ahead and make the electrical connections on the battery. So we'll start with the auxiliary battery when we're making our electrical connections. This battery in particular comes with um, nuts to go onto a stud, uh, which most of your lead acid deep cycles will come in this formation. Um, even AGMs, they won't usually have a battery post. You'll have a stud or a bolt that goes straight into a thread in the battery. But in this case, we're dealing with nuts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna secure this. So you're making sure that positive is our red one with the fuse holder and negative is our black cable. So I'm gonna start by doing the negative. So in this case, we're going flat washer, spring washer, and then our nut. And then we're gonna do the positive. Same formation, so our flat washer first, spring washer, and then our nut. We can go ahead and do those up, and we can also use one of our fuse holders to secure, oh, sorry, one of our cable ties to secure our fuse holder to this bracing, and that locks it into position. So I'll just do uh, this nuts right now. So in this case, we're dealing with 13 mil nuts, but obviously this will depend on the battery that you've chosen. I'll just show you the two other spots that we'll put cable ties here. One, like we said, to secure this into place. And I'm also gonna go ahead and just secure it coming up the arm of the battery there. Here's our harness. So, and we might put another one on the actual fuse holder itself, maybe even holding that cable. There we go, so we've finished on the auxiliary battery, we can now go and do the same thing to the main crank battery in the vehicle. Okay, so the last thing to do is to connect to our main battery with our main battery harness. So once again, just make sure main battery fuse, main lead, and that's going to our main battery. So this one's been changed to a wing nut, so I'm just gonna take that off or loosen it for now. And then we've got dealing with a 10 mil over here. So you can do one of two things here. We could actually fully take this bolt off, or if you've got enough stud there, you can actually put your terminal on and put another nut on the end of that stud. Alternatively, we could also just go to the body, but probably best to get a connection onto the battery so that our full current to the charger is running straight from the battery terminal. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting the negative terminal on. And I'm going to come from the back side, just so that's running in line with our cable exiting the terminal. Place that on and put our nut on. And then we can go ahead and fully do that back up. And you may see a range of different terminals um, in this location, especially a vehicle with this kind of age, that it's quite possible the battery terminal has changed over the years. And you may see something more like what's on the positive. This one has been changed over the life of the vehicle. So we do have an eight mil terminal on here, just in case that has happened, it'll fit a replaced terminal as well. There we go, our negative's tight. this wing nut, place our positive into position, and then using the last few cable ties in the pack, we'll go ahead and firstly secure our fuse holder and maybe our harness at the same time around 
the hold down clamp for the battery. Use two to do that. That's pretty well secured it. We might we'll use our last cable tie just to go around here. Good thing at this point too, just to go over the whole harness, look at it the whole direction, make sure it's not going past anything sharp, hot or moving.